done life and it's done me. My flaw, others credit me as a strength. I only seem to exist in the here and now during the extreme. Anything else simply is a waiting spot. Why? That's why I'm here. I proclaim with the knowledge that only one can have of oneself what I'm capable of. I know that I'm capable of reading. More so. I happen to enjoy it. Now that I think of it, that's not quite true. I enjoy the self-serving evils. Not those that harm others. This is why others see me as a good person. The source of this desire is not wanting not to want others. Its source is from being hurt and hurting others. More honestly, it's too easy to hurt me. Only desire what is difficult for me to reach. If it's an easy thing to obtain, it wasn't worth the trip. And I tend to pour of it quicker than I obtain it. If I asked, Pleasure and pain. I would say pleasure as I dove headlong into pain. This is the key to my lack of interest in the common religious denominations of our times. It promised the reward of a life with no pain and total bliss. I admit, my lack of foresight limits me from ever seeing this as a desirable goal. I measure my life in the pain. Each moment of great pain was a discovery and building of a new strength. If I have no pain or challenges, I have no life. Or more precisely, I would have life without the ability to truly live it. Others judge my actions, not my reasons. That drives me to guess that the end for our society is justified by the means. My driving force is that no one ever grows up to be like me. Many times in my life I've hated who I am, yet never have I wished to be anyone else. Why, <laughs> aren't I a sick puppy? To put it simply, I am a hypocrite. Constantly I desire one thing, yet I choose another. Yet admittance of my past and the crimes of them, 
usually at the never-ending nagging of others. Once heard, they never believe. When I flied, I found others were happy and rewarded. They gave me pleasure. When I've told the truth, I've been hated and left alone. That's good and bad. If others truly knew me, they would fear me. Hell, I do. That's because I know what I'm capable of. On the other hand, I constantly wish someone could know me. I'm in charge here. Your movie's ending just doesn't work.
Indians of the Plains. Vastly different were the many tribes of the interior who inhabited the Great Plains, swarming with buffalo. They likewise lived by hunting, but agriculture played a somewhat more important part in their lives. It was not until they caught and tamed the progeny of the horses that escaped from the Spanish conquerors that they secured mounts for hunting and warfare. Comment on this would be, in actuality, the first step to destroying the Plains Indians was the introduction of the horse. Because in society, as with the West originally, it had, the people were more equal. While once the horse was, invo was involved, the men and the hunters rode on their horses above everyone else, while the women and the children moved along the ground. Even their conversations, when once heard amongst each other, had started to separate. And what destroyed the Indians was that inability to join together. I think so. You look a little repellent without any arms and legs and all, glistening in blood and... And, uh, well, what do you know? An advantage to no legs, your panties slide right off. Just like in the movies. No clumsy fumblings. Well, if you insist, I mean, who am I to argue? You don't need arms and legs for sex, and what you need is already here, ready to go. I should start taking my medication. I mean, all this is just getting too complicated. First of all, I, I let death know 
that with my gallery show coming up, I, I don't have the time to get the dead for her. So she calls on an old friend of mine, the Deliverer. He helped me to deal with my family tragedy. But he doesn't seem to trust death. went on um I hated it when the phone became wireless just now I don't know where the fuck it is every time it rings I gotta not only get up I gotta apply error to go find the bitch and where it is it's like worse than a pet God. it's beep beep Beep. You gotta go fucking find it. And it's probably gonna die halfway through your conversation. Wow, I wish there was a cord connecting it from this back to my phone. No, I'm not adapting well on this. Now we're finally caught up to originally the satellite phone and then the cell phone. For starters, I hate Star Trek. And now that the frickin' phones look like goddamn Star Trek communicators, I feel like a fucking idiot ever using them. So I shut the damn things off. I'm not gonna sit here out in public with that thing. Oh, it even got worse. Then everyone started personalizing their phones. So I'm assaulted in public spaces by various sounds of ringing and so and everyone's talking to their fucking selves then go to a private place it's rude to talk on your phone in public to wind this down <laughs> then they got worse let's take this annoying piece of plastic and attach it to everything you may want to do that is made slightly worse by the possibility of interruption. Okay, first of all, I'm on a different angle of it. Let's let's stay in the chronological order here. Chronological. Mouse getting all dry, because I'm an old man. Can't keep my mouth dry or wet. Okay, back to this. Uh texting. Okay. It's cute that in the 21st century, we finally found a fucking use for the telegraph. Oh, we're soaring through time. But on the good side, I'll give you credit. People are trying badly to communicate at least. If it wasn't for text messages, people wouldn't read and write at all, I swear. It's bad enough though that the language sucks fake words and shit. No. You know what I can do with my cell phone? I can listen to music. Great. I'm listening to music. It stops because the phone's ringing. Oh yeah, music made great by an interrupting phone. Oh, I got an idea. Let's put a camera on it. Start with just a regular camera. Out there taking pictures of stuff, lining up. Bling, bling, fuck you! Yeah. 
That's why I have, fu I have fucking cameras. Phone, camera. I don't want them in one object. All I end up getting is lower quality of both. Oh, then I want video camera. Yeah, higher chance I'm recording. Seeing something cool. Let's say maybe it's skateboarding yeah, or whatever, you know, someone's about to fall, ah, flying through the air, about to land his nuts on the rail, phone rings. Even in the best case scenario, the video remains the same, but the ringing of the fucking phone. Again, wow. Camera was made better by the annoyings of the goddamn phone. So that's in short my problem. On that one, that old man rant. I never adapted to the goddamn phone. Quit putting it on all my shit. I'm never going to adapt to it. I'm never going to care for it. If I want to see people, there are ways to do it. I understand it's all kind of a different world. Problem is, the abuse of the phone has led me to hate it. Definitely can't sell me nothing now on it. Bye bye, old man rant. This time done. We'll see you on the next one. it up for today. It's a problem that always got me on the live show. I'm running out of time. I have a lot more to show. We were on the air for five years, so I can cut stuff out and stuff and samples from people for years. We'll keep putting stuff out there, but this is the stuff from Seattle. Some stuff from us. Months ago. Let me give you some contact info here with a little montage of the uh, CGs, the spinning transitions, uh, kind of like called kaleidoscope of effects. Something you need to look at while the uh, words are flying across. Give you a few websites. Most of them are all connected. Give you a few choices and easy ways to download. The main damn studio site you're going to see on there is a uh, flash one that's a little bigger than we thought and the loading screen doesn't work. We're working on fixing all that. So if you get a chance, it's slow download. Don't try it. Don't bother if you have to dial up. But also there is other information available on there, some samples we used to do. We're also going to use the website again, or the uh, email address, I'll send the website. So that I keep a little bit of the show. See, that's why the uh, symbol here of you know, no censorship. Kind of like the uh, concept to keep things moving. Definitely be here again. Make this a regular weekly effect. We'll be here. Hopefully you will. We're doing this for us, we're doing it for you, we're doing it for everyone. I remember back when I was uh, starting school, I was like, why is it so hard to have my stuff seen? To have my art out there? I thought, well, public access, something important. A lot of people try to cancel it or close it and say, oh, there's bad stuff out there. Yeah, like, the real people. We want our opinions, our concepts out there. So support your public access. Get more involved. Hopefully later on we'll get some spin-off shows. Someone that like sends a sample, keep putting together pieces. Next thing you know, they've got enough episodes and stuff to set do their own show. That'd be great. Seattle Public Access had tons of stuff filled for you know every time it was on there's different stuff. Every week new stuff. Many just repeated episodes, you know. Every week different episode, some live shows. I think we need to get some blood rolling in that. Every high school has AV classes. Every clubs. We should all just start putting stuff together. Get a hold of us. Maybe we'll come down to your, you know, your school or club and discuss what we can do and what you can do and put some stuff together. That would be just getting it all done and sitting down and seeing it on TV. For some reason, oddly enough, it makes it more real. Seeing that 
created something, you stand back and look at it, and you go, that was worth the work. Good or bad, even a bad sample shows more effort and drive than no sample whatsoever. Some people say, oh, I can do better. Show me. Definitely. Worst case scenario, I'll learn something from it. Best case scenario, it's a good laugh. It's fun. TV's not so untouchable. You can be here, you can show your stuff. It's not some weird mystical land on the other side of that glass box. It's yours. Own it. See you next week. Love you all and goodbye. Da, 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 da.